setup based character, whether or not Ketchup knows the setups and is able to play around them is a huge component to this matchup. Yeah. Because we saw, um, the, who was the snake he was playing against earlier? Oh, uh, that one guy. That one guy. We saw that one guy just dying consistently so early. Now, Void did make some reads there, some down bees off stage, and he landed the diamond cutter and the stocks, but he also landed some setups as well, just to get those early kills and make it look like uh, this character is completely broken. Uh, so we'll see here if, if uh, Ketchup is able to avoid these setups. Void versus Ketchup, winner's quarterfinals. Of course, winner of this will be advancing into winner's side of top eight. Ketchup wants to pull the upset, but Void looking to stave him off. Game one onto Smashville. And Void able to get the early combo, but Void's damage output with this character is going to be a bit of a challenge. That's for sure. I've definitely seen Bowser Jr.'s like uh, Tater just survive forever. This character is uh, surprisingly hardy, uh, a bit heavy, but also... Uh, actually, do you know if this character still has the, the effect where if you're in, if you hit the part of the cart that's uh, the, the Koopaling, that it, he takes more damage? He take Well, not only does he take less damage in the cart, uh, if you hit in Smash 4, if you hitbox, as we see an early bouncing fish almost sealing it up for Void. In Smash 4, that's going to be too low. If you hit both the cart and the Koopaling himself, it counted as the Koopaling hitbox, which did for more damage. But now in Ultimate, if you hit both, it counts as the cart hitbox. So that's a small buff there. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, so Ledge Trap's coming in from Void, but uh, Ketchup throwing out that aggressive option that Void was not expecting. But he's still got a <laughs> As we said, he's got a lot of work to do to get this back. The Cannonball will put him off stage as the Mecha Koopa in him throws it down immediately and dash tack in the wrong direction. Very unfortunate. And caught the shield drop at the right moment, too. Yeah, I, Void's cheek is so sick, but he does all these combos and it's like all he did was get like 20% off of it. <laughs> But it, as long as he keeps doing them, it's not going to matter. And if he does that... Needles into Bouncing Fish offstage Void. Void, you're amazing. But that back air, going to almost do it. Gets out of the way of the Mecha Koopa and carefully picking up his options. Once again, into yeah, this low there, percent. That's still a thing, I guess, in this game. Okay, goes for the Bouncing Fish read to try to maybe end this. He's getting so many confirms off these needles. Like as soon as he has them fully charged, Ketchup has to be that much more careful. Can he use the Bouncing Fish to recover this time? He throws the Mecha Koopa up, baiting out the normal recovery with the Ash Attack, but... Sit back. He has the ledge. He the Clown Car to make it back, and another Bouncing Fish will take him back there. Wanted another to seal it up, and that might just be too low for him. No, he's going to make it back. Bowser Jr. does have a very good recovery. <laughs> Look at all these down tilts. And he read the air dodge in Void with the up smash and the three stock. He's absolutely in his head. He set up permanent residence within his brain there. Yeah, Void was... Ex uh, Ketchup thought that Void was going to chase him with a fair there, and he thought that maybe that it wasn't true, so he would try... He tried to air dodge into the stage, but Void just sat there and waited and, and got the diamond cutter. And, and instead of a fair, like get hit by fair, he lost his entire stock. To see Ketchup's Ludwig will do a bit better now. Yeah, I, I mean, this this looks really rough. Fair, I'm sorry, Ketchup had his moments, but um, it was not nearly enough to, to even get on the board. Throws oh, up nice now. parry, though. He throws up the song early, and Ketchup all of a sudden has amassed a bit of a lead, but this combo from Void is going to take some of it back. On the stage, but unfortunately for Void, just extending a little bit uh, for that, Ketchup's going to get back to center stage. But, uh, yeah, so, Fair is just so fast, and, you know, you see a lot of Bowser Juniors, they want to go for the Clown Car because they're able to get so many confirms off of it. Uh, 
lands back, crosses him up, and it's gonna be catch up with the first kill, getting something that he couldn't find all of last game. But yeah, so because the clown card gives you so much confirms, it's fast, gives you a mobility option, I do not know what that was. I think maybe what recoil from neutral beat. Um, that because Void's fair is so fast, uh, it's able to just kind of stuff that out. He just throws out short out fair just like that, uh, and it will beat out the card. It beats out a lot of approach options. The only thing that uh, Ketchup has with Bowser Jr. is that fair, that big disjoint. But it is punishable. It's a lot slower of a move than Sheik's fair. Void is going off stage, showing very little restraint in what he will do to find these kills at sub 100%. Gets the bouncing fish though, air to bounce, weak back air to bouncing fish. We're getting it out. Everything to bouncing fish at this point. Yeah, I mean, that's just something like this, like we were talking about earlier, those setups that that uh, Hitler needs to watch out for. Hey. There's a percent window in which that works, and I imagine it's not that big uh, because he is usually a pretty, he's a pretty precise character. Um, but he needs to be looking out for that. And I mean, now he probably knows that he needs to look out for that. But you're down a stock right now, and you're about to be out of this uh, winner bracket. Back on stage to be up here. Look at how Void wants to play this. Has him in the F throw. Gets him back with the needles and bouncing fish almost connected, but. Ketchup is just going to SD instead. Yeah, the, unfortunately, he threw out a directional air dodge there, so he didn't really have an option to make it back. So that's going to be it for Void. A routine 2-0 to move into winner side of top eight. Yeah, I mean, Void's just been uh, on a warpath right now. He, Nobody has really seemed to give him much of a challenge. Marching forward, as you said. Most certainly a favor to take that, but another Favorite, I would say. Elegant and Elegant Master here. Mario. Now, I've always thought that this matchup is in Mario's favor, and I think it's gotten more so in Ultimate. But these characters do both have a great combo game, mm -hmm. and uh, Elegant is a very good player. So I think we could definitely see this one go either way. I think you're right. Elegant had to reinvent the way he played this character from sort of the ground up, and in this battle of the brothers, this could really, you know, this could go either way. This could be an upset for Master Mario. He does play this matchup, or he did play this matchup with Con Con earlier in the game cycle, and Elegant doesn't play Luigi the exact same way, but the confirms I've been seeing Elegant get are a lot, uh, I'm just